All right, I'm going to do a review of a pistol. This isn't quite a few of my videos where I'm just showing a semi-automatic pistol or if I'm shooting off a few rounds of 9mm. People always ask, what is that thing? Um, what it is, is a Smith & Wesson Model 915. I'm going to safety check this, show that it's unloaded. This gun was produced between 1993 and 1994, and that's it. Basically what this is, is a civilianized version of one of the 59 series that they made for law enforcement. I believe it was the 5904, but I'm not 100% sure. And what that was, was a pistol just like this, and it had a stainless steel um, bottom. Everything was the same pretty much except this was stainless steel down here as where this is aluminum, aluminum alloy and it had ambidextrous safeties and magazine releases pretty much what they did to this was put um, the safety and mag release just on one side switched the stainless steel to aluminum alloy and there's a couple other parts they put in this to kind of cheapen it up to bring the price down how they got the name 915 designation was this is a 9 millimeter pistol and it holds 15 rounds so 915 similarly they came up with the model 411 about the same time and what that is is a 40 caliber 11 shot and that came out right about the time the 40 Smith and Wesson came out I believe that the 411 which is almost identical gun to this just chambered in 40 Smith and Wesson was one of the first 40 caliber handguns that there was. So anyways, this gun, and you can find these, they're not that expensive, in 100% condition, immaculate condition. These are running for about $425 blue book. This is probably 85 to 90% condition. So a gun like this, you're talking about 212 bucks blue booked. But let me tell you something about this thing. I have fired probably 500 rounds through this. I'm not a big auto guy. So I haven't fired a lot. But I've never once had any type of failure. No feeding failures, no jams, no stove pipes, nothing. And I'm limp wristed in it the whole time. Never had a failure. And that's just because it's so big and heavy. I don't know the exact weight on this thing, but I'm sure it's well over 30 ounces. Loaded up would be a lot more. But this is a big fat gun. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's big. It's basically meant to be a sidearm for uh, police. And um, the the 59 series, I believe the 5904, was something that at one time in the 90s was offered to the NYPD and the um, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. But this is just the civilianized... Uh, version of it and I really do think it's a great a great pistol for what it is I mean it's rare to say that you can take any any pistol and say I fired this many rounds through it trying to jam it up and you cannot jam the thing up it's not particularly attractive it's kind of plain Jane it's kind of like a cross between a 1911 and a Beretta and it's got the uh, double action single action so the first shot is double action. And shots after that would be single action. Has the decocker safety. Also it has the, um, the magazine release safety, which a lot of people complain about. Um, I could care less either way. Won't fire up the magazine out. So, taking this thing down is kind of a pain, too, in comparison to a lot of modern pistols. I'm going to take this thing down really quick. You need something, some sort of hard object. i got a pencil here. And what you got to do is line up this notch right here with the round part of this pin. And while it's lined up, come from the back and push this through. And you usually cannot do it with your finger. You gotta push it with something hard. This pencil tip will do. And 
pull it forward. Comes out pretty easy after that. Now the odd thing about this, when you put it together, is there's this um, tip, the front of this uh, guide rod here. It sits. It doesn't set where you'd think. It, there's a big ledge here. You would think it would set on that to stop it, but no, it doesn't. It sets on this little tiny thing. It almost looks like it's not supposed to be there. This little etch into the metal, but that's where it sits. So you put your spring in there, set it up on there. That little etch. Get in right. And bring it back on the frame of the gun is kind of weird too, because you got this little. Uh, piece here. It sticks straight up. Not straight up, but so what you got to do is line it up and put it on, but once you get to this point, it's going to hit the back of the gun, which is really weird. So you got to push it down with your fingers. And then there's a second one over here, a little piece, but you also got to push down with your fingers as it goes back. So it's a little, little strange that they would make it that way. But I suppose overall, not that hard to take down. And I might want to add that when I when I shot this thing, all the rounds I shot through it, not only did I shoot a lot of standard rounds, but I also put a lot of plus P's through it. And when I first started reloading ammunition, I put uh, quite a few questionable rounds through the thing, where more than likely they are well undercharged. I didn't have an exact recipe for the nine millimeters I was making, so I put them put them down low. They were probably coming out, and these 124 grains were probably coming out of this thing at like 800 feet per second, and it still cycled the thing. It's got a pretty uh, pretty positive, strong spring on there, but it still cycled it fine. It cycled those low power rounds. It cycled the plus P's fine. It cycled everything I have put through this thing. It has cycled, and I've never had one issue. So. Anyways, I, I would say it's a great gun. It, it doesn't have a lot of uh, purpose for like concealed carry. I mean, you could, but for that weight, you could carry something uh, a lot better than a 9mm, I would say. Because it's heavy. But it would be a good open carry gun and a holster. It does pack a lot of firepower. It would be a good truck gun, good car gun. Because, I mean, you got 30 rounds right there. And it's heavy and it shoots well and it's reliable. You know, you can shoot the thing one handed, ain't gonna jam up on you. So, anyways, just wanted to show that Smith and Wesson model 915. Cool pistol, reliable pistol. It's almost too reliable. You, you know, I I dare you, I challenge you to go find a two hundred and twelve dollar gun that is as reliable as this. Accuracy wise, I can't really comment because I'm not I'm not the best uh, semi-auto shooter But it holds its own. I mean it does it Does what it needs to do so Keep small on paper at seven yards. So just want to show that so thanks for watching